Howdy partner and welcome to this rootin' tootin' kid time story time. The year is 1895. The place is Montana. Also pronounced Montana in Espanol. Okay, the place is Montana. Oh, darn it, I lost my hat. Ugh, we gotta get you a better size. It's okay, it's okay, okay. The point is, they needed a stagecoach driver. But it was dangerous work. <laughs> so dangerous that they thought only the very bravest man could do it. Even though everybody knows that a super brave bear could do it. I would rather not do it. But I could totally do it. But that's not the point of the story. The point is they found the bravest person for the job. And guess who it was? Who was it? It was a girl. So the best man for the job was a girl. A girl, yes, and, and not a bear girl, a human girl. But a bear girl could have handled it just as well. So that's where our rootin' tootin' frontier wild west story begins. And that is where our fearless story begins. Green Bear, your hat. Oh, thanks. All right, there you go. I gotta get you a smaller one, I know, but you'll know, grow into it. You guys grow fast, you kids. Fearless Mary, American stagecoach driver. And you could say she was the very first postal delivery person, but boy, delivering the mail back then was not at all like what you see today. It's the city of Cascade, Montana. And Mary Field sees help wanted signs everywhere. The city or really looks more like a Wild West town. The, the, this Wild West outpost needed a new stagecoach driver to make deliveries to a school called St. Peter's Mission. It's a good job. It's an important job, but it's a dangerous one. Wah, 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 wah. It's 1895. Sending supplies and messages to Cascade is easy, thanks to telegraphs and trains. Choo -choo. But the trails that snake through the mountains up to St. Peter's Pass, oh, that makes it almost impossible to reach. Now, the best way to get the mail up there was by stagecoach. But, but, but. Again, Wild West time, okay? Outlaws preyed on stagecoaches. That's right, like the old stick em up Wild West outlaws. And because why? Because the stagecoaches were full of valuable supplies, money, food. But it wasn't just the robbers, it was the wild animals too. Oof, tough. The stagecoach is usually guarded by one person, just one brave soul, the driver. To do the job, you need to be smart. You need to be tough. You need to be unshakable. As a former slave who traveled to the West alone to seek opportunity, Mary Fields is all of those things, but she's a female. Hmm. They didn't think really highly that women could do brave stuff like that. And as a former slave, even tougher to make a good impression. With the job comes respect and high wages, nearly $75 a month. Woo! Can you imagine getting an allowance like that? Money! Now with that kind of pay, a person in Cascade can live a good life. But most people think a job like this is meant for men, not women, and especially not an ex-slave. Getting the job is gonna be hard for Mary. Even though the Wild West is supposed to be a land of opportunity, Everything is still segregated. Have you learned that word yet? Segregated, that means when things are separate, meaning specifically whites only here, you know, and then black people get served somewhere else. And a lot of things are whites only, like the saloon and the store. Crazy, I know, but that's, that was the era, right? So it's supposed to be a land of opportunity, but things are still segregated with whites only jobs and whites only pay. But does that stop Mary? No. Nope. It only makes her want to prove that everyone should be equal, including women. That's what you call moxie and persistence. So the very next day, Mary gallops into town, face pointed towards the sky, partner ready to take her chance. Are y'all ready? You aren't ready. 
At least 40 cowboys look at the line, try out for the job, and Mary steps right up with them. We don't hire people like you, the manager says. So Mary stands tall and squares her shoulders. She lived the first 33 years of her life without freedom, and now she'd spend the rest of it making sure she got an equal shot at a good life. I'm Mary Fields. I can outride any man trying out for this job. Mary refuses to leave. She won't leave. That's persistence. She waits her turn to show what she can do. That's right. She's just not going to talk the talk. She's going to walk the walk. One by one, the cowboys try their best. They swing their lassos. They saddle up horses real fine. But Mary knows she can do that and more. See, they're, they're roping and they're saddling and they're tying it to the carriage. So she steps forward again. But the manager, uh, wah, wah, once again, I said not you. You don't belong here. I'll show you I do. You show them, Mary. I can't wait to see how this, she, oh, so, oh, look at that. And she does. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. She ropes a horse. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. She ties eight horses to a carriage in record time. Mary hitches six horses, cracks her whip, speeds up the hill and back around, the horse's hooves clomping an earth-shaking sound. She is a force. Well, uh, what's your name again? The manager asks. I'm Mary Fields, but you can call me Fearless. No need to look further. The job is hers. No African-American woman has ever been hired to drive a stagecoach in Cascade, or the rest of the country for that matter. Mary Fields is number one, the first, a true pioneer of the Wild West. Now, being first is hard. It's cool, but it is hard. Not everyone likes the idea of a woman driving a stagecoach. Some people believe Mary can't do the job just because she's a lady or because of the color of her skin. But Mary is unbreakable, unshakable. Look at that. He looks not too happy. She looks not so happy. She looks pretty excited. They're curious. She's like, hmm, could it be? She's opening doors. She travels rugged mountain trails. It's hard to navigate. But Mary can read all kinds of maps, including the star patterns in the dark sky. Now that is pretty cool. Now, do you see what she has here? Yeah, we're about to find out. Thieves try to steal from her wagon. We knew that that might be happening, right? Little do they know that Mary's got herself a pet eagle, ah, ah, trained as her faithful protector. Ah, ah. They don't stand a chance. What? She has a pet eagle? I can, can you get I can't, I can't even, oh. Oh boy, I think I know where this is gonna go. On one moonless night, Mary's wagon hits a gully. Gung, gung, gung. Horses screams pierce the air. Packages go flying everywhere. And uh, a gang of hungry wolves creeps out from the shadows. Arr, oh no, is this it? Is this the end of the line? Is this the terrible, tragic tale of Mary Fields? It is not. Mary's cargo is important. Food to feed the school children, letters for loved ones sent from far away. It's her job to protect her horses and make sure the children at St. Peter's receive their packages. Mary stands guard all night, iron weapon pressed against her back with the eagle at her side. She keeps the wolves at bay Arr, until the sun rises and chases them away. Mary never loses a single horse <laughs> or a package. She would be amazing at Amazon today. Word of Mary's courage spreads throughout Cascade. She becomes a hometown hero. She becomes the stagecoach driver who fended off wolves, trudged through heavy snow, and never missed a single day of work. No task was too small. No task was too dangerous. And in time, she would become known as a groundbreaker, a history maker. Mary rides those trails for eight years until she's in her 70s. What? Eight years until she's in her 70s? That means she started when she was in her 60s. That incredibly difficult job? Oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. 
More women begin to drive stagecoaches and deliver mail across the United States. Fearless like Mary, faces pointed to the sky. Well, of course, she'd proven women could do it. So now that opened the door and opened the minds of other managers out there to hire the ladies. As the years go by, cars, vroom, 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 telephones, ring, and airplanes are invented. Delivering the mail becomes easier, less dangerous, and thanks to Mary and others like her, a job held by many ladies. Today, Mary's bravery is remembered in Cascade and throughout the country. Delivery men and women still face long days on the road and harsh weather at times, and there's still some dangerous mountain passes out there, but nothing like the dangers Mary faced in the Wild West. I don't think they have eagles either. Every now and then, if you listen closely, you'll hear her voice whispering in the wind. I'm Mary Fields, but you can call me fearless. <gasps> wow, I am so in awe, as in awe, as in awe, as in exactly that. Okay, so now that you're done reading, uh, awesome story, by the way, sorry, teller. Yeah, yeah, I was so inspired. Wow, like, she is super brave. I do not want to do that kind of work, but it is amazing, and I admire those who are very brave. You are brave in your own special way, dog. You don't have to apologize for anything. Thank you, Great Bear. That's why he's my best friend. Also, I'm going to be requiring a pet eagle. Yes, I think that would, whoa. That, wow, that's kind of big. It's okay, we can keep it outside in the big tree and I can feed them, it'll be awesome, and we'll have eggs, and then we'll have baby eaglets. Oh, I can't, I, I get so excited, I'm gonna go write my letter to Santa. But it's not Christmas yet. Well, I guess, I guess it's better early than uh late. Is that a saying? Uh, yeah, let's, Yes, it's a saying, Doug. Okay, okay. All right, I'm going to go help him draw his letter to Santa because I have to write crayon, okay? All right, Doug the Dinosaur. And you, kid, see you next time. And remember, you have to be fearless and don't let anyone tell you what you can be. You know in your heart what it is that you were born to do. See you next time.